Hello, my name is Marted and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to install a all metal hotend from MicroSwiss on my CR10S 3D printer. So let's have a look after the intro. So I received the MicroSwiss all metal hotend for the CR10 and a piece of Capricorn tube to go along with it. And I'm gonna install that on my CR10. I'm gonna first remove the old one and the fan type fan I have installed. Removing the stock fan is very simple, it's just two screws, and then you can remove the original fan. But removing the fan shroud requires me to remove first the fan and then the shroud on the hot end. But I'm gonna get to it, so let's get started. So the first thing I have to do is to remove the Nocturne fan. That is held in place by four screws. And now with this type of shroud, I have access to the two screws that hold the shroud and the hot end to the country. zip tie here to get some slack on the cables. And you need to slide this out. And you can remove the PTFI tube. The tube goes only one way through this part, so you have to loosen this one up if you're going to remove the tube. But in my case, I'm going to replace the whole thing, so I'm just going to remove the heater cartridge and the heater sensor. There's a grab screw to get the cartridge out. And it takes a 1.5 millimeter. And this is for the temperature sensor. You want to be careful not to damage anything. And this is like a glass bead sensor. That's very delicate, I think. And then the cartridge. So now this one is out, and one thing I noticed with this one, they leave in the screws here. I don't know how good of an idea this is to have the heat break here and have those two screws conducting heat from the heat block directly to the cooler. I think those should be removed after you have tightened the nozzle, but this is the original part. And I was looking at pictures of the other people's CR10 and it's not only mine that is like that. They seem to zip it on purpose like this, but I think it's very strange. <laughs> so the new hot end is an all metal hot end and the heat break is a titanium heat break. So that's really cool. Now on this heat break there are placement for the temperature sensor on the heater cartridge and I'm going to install that. So the heater cartridge goes in and the bead goes into this hole and then you have to put in the screw to align the wires. You really have to be careful 
not to damage the heat sensor. And now I can tighten it on the heat block. Now I can screw in the titanium heat brick. Now I just tighten the heat brake a little bit and I'm going to insert the no nozzle and I'm going to tighten that after we heat up the heat block. But I just make it snug with my fingers at this point. And now I can install the cooling, cooling part of the hot end. And this one has a grab screw and here you, after you put it on, you have to put in the grab screw. So you have to turn this in the direction that the grab screw here is on the same side as the heated cartridge. Um, this should be a flat area. So, so when you have aligned that, you're gonna tighten up the grab screw. So now the hot end is assembled and then I'm gonna install it back again in the same place the other one was. And now, of course, <laughs> finding out that the heater cartridge is in a different shape uh, than the original. So this bracket here is not fitting. Um, I'm deciding on if I'm going to cut it into shape or I'll get a new one. I think I can cut it into shape. Trying to bend it in a way that it can accommodate the new hot end. And I was able just to push out the sides a little bit and then I can could align the cooling part so I think this is good and well I have it I'm gonna install the silicon sock it goes over like this now that's a nice thing to have so now I can install it back again on the, on the country thing here I think now, before I put it there, I'm gonna install the Capricorn tube. I'm just cutting the end to be flush. Now the tube just goes in a little bit so that it's in place. Tight. Now the tube that comes with is quite long, so you don't need to have it all in place. I think I'm gonna cut it so much here. This seems to be like twice as long as you really need, so you will have a replacement tube if something happens to this one. And then I just connect the tube to the extruder. So now this is in a good place, and now I just have to put on the fan again.
So now everything is place in place and I have to put the zip tie back here. Now this is done, it's an easy install and I think the Capricorn tube is going to do a good job and I want to get the old metal hot end. So now I have to preheat the nozzle before I tighten it fully. So I'm going to turn on the printer and just going to preheat, take the silicone sock off and so I get some pliers to hold down on the heat block while I tighten the nozzle. So to tighten the nozzle I'm using a 7mm socket wrench. And then I'm gonna clamp on the heater block with this, this tool and we don't want to rotate the heater block. So now everything is tightened and I can cool everything down. So now the micro Swiss all metal hot end is installed and I put in the silicone sock and tighten the nozzle. So this was really a simple install and, and rather quick for me to do. So this will be for this video. I hope you have some idea how this is done. There's no no way meant to be a full tutorial on how to do things correctly. <laughs> Just uh, my experience doing it. So I hope this is gonna work good for me this all metal hot end for now i thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one